This is our can line. Starts with the big red machine over uh, behind me, which is our depalletizer. We go through a um, ionized air rinse. We bring the cans off the line, ionize air rinse them. We place them on the line, actually upside down, and then they will come around to our labeler. We've got a high-speed tri-pack sleeve labeler. That particular labeler feeds rolls of labels, so it's a sleeve label. It's a, it's a hollow tube, shrink wrap tube. So this machine will shoot, cut and shoot a label on top of the can. And then that can with the label on it will travel down the conveyor through the steam tunnel, which will then shrink that label onto the can. And again, the can is still upside down, so nothing's falling in the can. The steam tunnel has a secondary advantage on it is it's, uh, again, fed with uh, high pressure steam. It's going to bring that can up to temperature. We get some pasteurization units uh, on that can. It'll come down the line, go through the inverter, which will then uh, take the can right side up and down the conveyor and into our filler. Our filler is a Italian-made CFT high-speed rotary filler. It's a 32-valve filler, so the cans will come onto the conveyor. Carousel is spinning around, a can will go onto that carousel. It'll get purged with CO2, it'll get pressurized with CO2, it'll be counter pressure filled, and then it'll come off on the other side to go to the seamer. One of the reasons that we picked this particular seamer, uh, filler seamer, is that it has the lowest total dissolved oxygen, total package oxygen, TPO, in the industry. Uh, it has some patented technology in it in how it fills that can and then how it uh, purges with undercover gasser at, right as it puts that lid down on the can that goes into the seamer. Let's walk around to the other side. The can will come around the carousel. This particular machine runs its uh, top speed is just a little bit above 300 cans per minute. So about six cans a second are flowing through the machine. It'll go into a CO2 tunnel and then right straight into um, the seamer on the machine. It'll, again, it'll, uh, lids are coming in. There's an undercover gasser that purges the top of that can and then pops the lid on and seals it. So you get very, very uh, low oxygen pickup. It has a very short contact time. Uh, as it comes off the head and goes into the tunnel. Now let's walk around to the remaining of the line. Can dryer and then we move into our FT Systems x-ray level detector. So every can that comes off of this line gets x-rayed, we ensure that every can is filled properly. Once it moves through the x-ray level detector, which will, by the way, knock the can off the line, so if it is filled, if it's a low fill, it's rejected, knocked off the line. Moves into secondary packaging. We have the, the DMM uh, CT30 uh, cartoning and tray packer. This particular machine is set up. Uh, we can fill, uh, uh, erect and fill four packs, six packs, eight packs, 12 packs. We can also do 12 pack loose in a tray flat and we can do 24 pack loose in a tray flat. So we can do cartons, we can do loose with a shrink wrap over it, or we can do pack tech. So pretty much all the standard uh, configurations that folks are using out there, we've got the ability to do that uh, in our secondary packaging.